Hey everybody, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about a hair product I'm going to start using and I'm sorry if I sound weak, if I sound raspy. <coughs> <coughs> I have a very bad cold and I don't really take medicines for it. I just believe in like healing naturally on your own. Well, I mean not with everything, but I mean like just having like a common cold, you know, being under the blanket, sweating it out, you know, drinking teas and you know, just more home remedy stuff. So it's irritated. And it's kind of hard for me to talk, but I'm going to try and get out some videos for you guys because um, I'm like long overdue. Before in my other channels, I always used to talk about the struggles that I had with growing out my hair and, you know, maintaining its health and, you know, its texture and everything. So if you also hear rocking, my daughter's in her playpen behind me. So she's like rocking away, trying to get comfort and soothe herself and trying to go to sleep. So if you hear that, I apologize. I'm sorry if it's like, you know, disturbing like in the background and then you hear me and probably like, what the heck is that? I've struggled with hair care for the longest time. And if you guys don't know, I'm, you know, mixed. So I have like curly hair. This is my natural hair. Um, I just got out the shower. That's why I look like such crap. Um, I just, you know, put my moisturizer on and all that stuff. And I have a tutorial to do and some other stuff, videos I need to do. And <coughs> I need to make my bed. Like, this is probably just a crappy video, but this is more of just like me trying to deliver something to you guys. I seen SML. XO, I believe I said it alright, um, started talking about hair affinity pills. Well, when I looked up, you know, like before and after results and people's blogs and, you know, reviews on it, um, the pills work really good for ethnic people's hair. Um, if you have curly hair, if your hair doesn't have natural oils, if you don't drink enough water and you can't get the vitamins in to make your hair grow, um, I've seen good and bad things. I've seen more good than bad, um, but I heard little things like where people say that their hair their hair has been shedding when taking these pills or things like that. Now, let me just tell you guys, they not, are not approved by the FDA, and no, I did not get sent these pills to try out. I bought them with my own money. I've been looking and looking for you know things to help me and because i do have a lot of health issues you know like with not taking vitamins not drinking enough water um i do believe that you know my hair you know plays a big part in it. my hair and my nails my nails have been growing actually tremendously because i do have a terrible um bad nail biting habit um but with my hair it's very fragile like i have gorgeous little curly locks um, my hair is still kind of damp so you won't see it like completely curly but um this is like if i can show you guys this took some process to even get it this long. Like I can finally grab it. That took like about a year. Before, my hair would ne probably never grow past like neck length, like low, like lower neck length. It would never grow. Um, until I finally just started taking like really good care of it. Number one, I can't even, I can't really put hot tools on my hair or dye my hair. So that's why if you guys ask me, oh, do your hair straight or do tutorials and stuff, um, I can't really put a lot of heat on my hair. There's some people that can get away. I've tried all types of heat protectants. Um, I've tried the Tresemme, the Chi. I've tried all expensive, low end, high end, um, and they do not help protect my hair. Um, my hair will fry like that and you'll see split ends the next day. The day, um, the day I got it cut, like it was longer than this. And um, I had to get it cut. And it, even, it didn't even get to grow back to its full length because I already started getting split ends. My hair is very fragile. Also, when I put my hair up in a ponytail, um, like with the elastic bands, my hair gets wrapped up in it. And then my hair has a problem where like, if I sleep on it, it'll get messed up the next day. So like if it's nice today, I have to redo my hair tomorrow with like a, um, a detangler spray or I have to damp it with water and then, you know, kind of comb through it and then like, you know, but sometimes I just don't brush my hair at all. And you know, then it'll get really matted and then I have to start over. So I'm trying to work on like, you know, healthy hair and you know, making my hair a lot softer. Um, I do have soft hair for the most part. Um, and I can't really put a lot of products in my hair because my hair will eat it in the worst way. And it will just dry out my hair. I can't even barely wash it either. So um, I do a lot of deep conditionings and I probably like co wash it like, you know, a few times a week. Other than that, I don't really shampoo my hair a lot because sulfate free shampoo works on my hair. But there is a lot of shampoos that also <coughs> strip my hair. They strip the oils on my hair. I don't have a lot of oils. If I like look at my hair and pull, it kind of has that um, rubbery feel like where like it'll stretch and you can kind of hear it so it's like kind of like that rubbery um sleek, sleek like you know er, er, kind of sound um especially at my ends so um and then i'll feel like the little balls on the tips and also like the little white tips which means i do need to get my hair trimmed now you would think that being pregnant um you get all the things you need but i don't really take my prenatal pills which is bad so if you guys get pregnant take your prenatal pills um but yeah so um i'm not gonna say I'm not going to say that I do recommend these pills to anyone just yet. 
Um, it's gonna take some time um, because I am hypothyroid and my hair sheds anyway. So um, I have to go back to my doctor and get on a higher dosage prescription for me. Um, it, may be a, it may be a lifetime thing or it could, it could be because my hormones are directed to my weight. It could be a lot of things. And that's another reason why my hair gets very brittle and damaged. Um, so I really need, you know, better vitamins in my body to just make my hair grow, you know, make my skin better, you know, make my everything better, but it's mainly for your hair. But I heard other people talking about like their skin and their nails and stuff like that too. So, oh, which by the way, I'm sorry, <laughs> the quality's crap. Um, I do have my Canon T3i, but it's charging and whatever. It's supposed to be like an HD webcam, so hopefully it's decent. Um, I think it makes me look a lot better, but whatever throughout time i'm going to show you guys you know things i use on my hair to make my hair better what shampoos and conditioners i use but right now i'm you know still experimenting with my hair so i'm not going to really tell you what's my favorite product um but i have been starting the clear the clear shampoo and conditioner and it has been amazing on my hair today usually when i put conditioner on my hair it'll make it soft in the shower and then as soon as i start to wash it out i start to feel that you know like streaky you know rubbery feel and i'm just like crap okay the conditioner really didn't do much for my hair but when i put the um what's it called the clear my hair the clear shampoo um it made my hair beautiful i don't know what it is like see so people may think like i have really good hair but i don't like i have really pretty curls but but yeah and i do have frizzy hair but i love frizz i think frizz is like sexy i love sex hair if you want to call it that i know it's a bad term to say so kids if you're watching this don't call your hair sex here it was kind of funny because i actually have a my glam video to do on my glam bag and i got two of these in the mail okay so here's the my glam bag and this is actually like a magenta like hot pink bag and then this is the hairfinity pill so i thought that this was the my glam at first when i got this in the mail but it, you can see it's like slightly smaller and it if on camera you can't really see it but it's more of like a coral light hot pink so i don't know if you guys can tell the difference but anyway, the pill prices, I'm just going to make it easy for you and tell you that it comes in like, you know, you can buy one pill for trying it out, you can buy two, then you can buy four. But the higher you go, um, you know, the more cheaper it'll be. Um, you'll be saving money more. But I only got um, the deal that came with, I think, two, two uh, pill bottles, which was a deal. And I think it rounded about almost close to 50 bucks. The reason why I got two is because I felt like, you know, two months you would see probably more of a result rather than a month. So if I do see like any type of hair shedding and stuff like that, I'll keep going until I'm done with these two bottles. Um, but then if my hair is still like shedding really badly, then I'm gonna just quit and withdraw from them because, okay hair, because um, I don't wanna go bald. <laughs> so this is what the pills look like. Hairfinity Healthy Hair Complex says, Hairfinity Healthy Hair Complex Professor Growing Hair. <coughs> also. <coughs> Oh my god put the link down below and it has 60 cap capsules inside so i'm gonna actually open them up i think i already did it yeah and i'll show you what they look like they don't smell good at all they smell just like tornado pills if not anything worse so if you're not a pill take a good look um you cannot crush these you have to take these in full and they are big horse not horse pills but they're like i can't even get it out like two a day so i'm thinking of taking one in the morning and then one before i eat dinner so like one before breakfast and then one before i eat um dinner so that's what i will do here's what they look like let's see if i can zoom in for you guys so here's what they look like as you guys can see that yeah that's what it looks like and like i said they don't smell good at all um but uh, being pregnant, taking prenatal pills, I paired with it, um, even though I didn't take them frequently. Um, so I don't know exactly when I'm going to be starting this, either this weekend or next weekend. And I'm, you know, if you guys want to follow me on this journey um, for hair growth and healthy hair, um, continue to stick with me on that. Um, I will do updates. Um, but like I said, I'll do an update after I take the first bottle. Um, and then after the second bottle, I'll do another update. And then we'll do measurements. So um let's see i don't really like doing a tape measuring thing but i can just tell you okay so my first layer is like okay now i see this little hair right here my first layer everything in the front is probably like a little bit above armpit length so 
right above there. And then in the back, because I have different layers, you guys can see that the back reaches at bra strap length. So my bra strap, you're not going to really see that, but it reaches at bra strap length. That's my longest layer. And then in the back somewhere, <coughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. We'll see how much it grows. What I'm trying to accomplish is getting the back. I do like layers in my hair. I want the back of my hair, like the back of this area, to be like at, at waist length. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna again. I want it to be like at waist length. And then in the front, I want it to be like at boob length. So the shortest, like at my boobs. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's hope I can accomplish that because I do have good hair. I do have good hair, but it just gives me so much trouble. If you guys want to do this journey with me, you know, let me know. I'm sorry that this video is so crappy, but I feel like I just had to get it out there, even though I'm like deathly sick. And um, hopefully I get good progress with this. Um, but like I told you, it's not approved by the FDA. I wouldn't recommend taking this while you're pregnant. If you're on other um, medications, I am going to be going to my doctor and asking them about the vitamins if it's perfectly fine to take because I am also breastfeeding. So, um, also, I'm going to tell you guys what's in these bad boys right here. Um, hey, if you guys want to see the list yourself, let's see if I can get this. So that's the list of what's on there if you guys want to pause the video and look. So yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. So wish me luck, guys. This like little piece of carrot like doesn't know which side it wants to go on. Which side do you want to go on, my friend? That side? Okay, stay there. Just stay. Because it seems like you're trying to go on this side. And I really don't know what I'm trying to do. Okay, I'm going to go fix my hair. If you guys are going to do this journey with me, feel free to message me. And, you know, we can be buddies. Um, you can go ahead and leave me a video comment below. And we can go ahead and start this. Um, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Alright, bye.